we've heard over the past 15 years in our career that companies are wanted to win the war on talent and the war on talent would define success into the future. So companies were more than willing to invest in getting the best and brightest people into their organization, as many as possible, compensating them at a high level and reaping the benefit of having all that, that labor. Who would suggest that what we're seeing now is a secular shift from the war for labor to the war on labor. We are seeing the market wage a war on labor that's being fought on three fronts. And as you mentioned, it's AI, it's nearshore, offshore, and then it's diminished capital spending. It's diminished capital spending on software projects. So some of the stats that we're seeing, a World Economic Forum often reviled, sometimes respected, but, but no doubt an influ influential organization suggests that 30% of jobs in technology will be eliminated by 2030. That's 30% of jobs will be eliminated by 2030 out of the ecosystem. And I think we're seeing that. I think we're on track when you look at being on pace to lose 600,000 jobs over the course of the past three to three and a half years. We're seeing AI, without a doubt, take jobs and eliminate jobs from the technology ecosystem. So th that's that's one shocking finding. Uh, just released yesterday, Blake, ADP, the payroll provider, payroll platform provider, very well respected in terms of, of labor statistics, indicated that there are less software developers today in 2024 than there were in 2018. Said another way, there were more software developers in the U.S. employed in 2018 than there are in 2024. Just shocking, right? Like hard right. to believe. Crazy. But Very. true. And they just released a press release on it yesterday. That's ADP Research. If you look at these three fronts, AI looking to eliminate 30% of jobs by 2030, nearshore, offshore, if you look at those separately, offshore, which primarily means India, to some extent it's Eastern Europe, to some extent it's Southeast Asia, but Asia Pacific, but India is primarily what, what we're talking about. It has seen a 4.1% growth consecutively over the past few years, which means U.S. jobs are definitely going to India. India is growing. You can look at TCS, Tata Consultancy Services. If you look at a quote of their financial returns over the past four years, straight up, almost exponential up. Whereas you look at US-based providers and it's down. US losses are India's gains right now. And that's that's taking about 4% of jobs out of the US. Now you couple that with nearshore. So nearshore primarily means Central America, South America, and the Caribbean. 2.1% of jobs now are being sent from the US nearshore. So when you couple 2.1%, 4.2%, 4.1%, 4.2%, and AI's impact, 11% of jobs potentially in the US in the tech ecosystem are being lost to these trends. And then you stack diminished capital spending on software projects. You know, how much more can we reap out of some of these cloud platforms we've deployed? How much more ROI can we get out of feature development? Companies are saying we're we're seeing diminished marginal benefit from the software projects. So so capital spending on uh, is also impacting that. So you're absolutely seeing losses, but you're not necessarily seeing 11% disappear. You're just seeing it being reallocated from the United States and in some cases, Canada, and North America to other global locations, primarily India, primarily South America at this stage.